What's up, everybody? It's C Money from On Point for Gamers, and we are here at the Midwest Games booth, and I am with the founder and CEO, Ben Koala. He is going to tell us about Midwest Games. Their journey is very interesting, and I think you're going to be surprised. All right, Ben, how are you, buddy? I'm doing really well. This is such a fun show. Yeah, it really is. It really is. So yeah, you were telling me a little bit. So tell me about you know where you came from right yeah. before and what's been going on. Yeah, so most recently I was at Netflix. I helped to build their games division. Uh, I previously helped to build their marketing division for films. Uh, and then I had been at 2K and Blizzard for quite a while uh, before that. And then ultimately decided 10 months ago to leave Netflix and build my own publisher, Midwest Games, with the attempt to really try to change where games come from by better supporting underserved developers, uh, underrepresented developers in other places. So we're based in Green Bay, Wisconsin, not exactly known as a <laughs> video game hub, but that doesn't mean it can't be. There's a lot of a lot of a lot of history in the Midwest. Dungeons and Dragons was created in Wisconsin. Uh, you know, Midway uh, was an incredible game published for so long with Mortal Kombat and NBA Jam and and Cruising USA and all the incredible games that they put out. And so we want to bring opportunity to talent in underserved places. And so that's what we're doing and we've signed some incredible games so far. That's awesome, that's awesome. So you guys uh, have, how many, you have what, three games here at the show? Yeah, we're, we have three games playable at the show. And then we have a fourth game that we're, we're demoing for press. Uh, the three games uh, that we're showing, Ra Ra Boom, which has a Squadcade ca cabinet from Polycade up yep. here in the front. We have the Lullaby of Life, which comes out April 30th. Oh, nice. And then uh, Duck Paradox, which is uh, seems to be a show favorite. It I know is. that you all played it as well. We did, we did. And it, it, was, uh, it was a ducking good time, right? <laughs> a ducking good time indeed. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it, was, it was really, really good. So that game in particular, Duck Paradox, uh, who's the creator? Of it. Yeah, uh, so his name is Diego from Magic Games. Uh, he's based in Germany, but he's from Mexico, and he's working with an with an audio designer from uh, Indiana. So kind of all over the place. He's actually in college. He's a student, and so we help to get him set up. We help to uh, uh, really bring this game to market. He had an incredible demo that we really, really love, and we we're like, well, how can we support? And so we put this game into early access, it's on Steam right now, and then we're going to be adding a lot more to the game and investing in the game and, and really trying to elevate what is just an incredible title. Really difficult, but so much fun. Yes, yes. So when, is the, when are you guys aiming for like a 1.0? Uh, the 1.0 should come out a little bit later this year. We'll have we'll have a drop of some additional content and early access before that. Uh, but you know, this year we'll have a lot more coming, and then we're hoping that you know, as as long as we get an audience that really loves this, which we, we think there will be, uh, to ultimately add even more over time. Nice. Now, right now, is it is it just Steam? Like it's just PC? Or? Yeah, just PC for now. But we're looking at exploring some some different avenues to bring it to other platforms as well. We think. We're really well on some other platforms. Nice, nice. Awesome, man. Well, thank you so much for chatting with yeah. me. We appreciate you. Guys, it's been C Money from On Point for Gamers. Thank you so much for rocking with us. We have more videos to come. Peace out, guys.